All right, I haven't done a balancing video, balancing equation videos for some time, but someone asked me to do this. It looks like an interesting problem here to balance, interesting equation to balance. The key here I think you have to watch out for is that this dot 12 H2O, what that means is there's 12 water molecules around this compound. And then on this side over here, I just have H2O. So I'm just gonna put a 12 here to start out. That balances these here, and then I'm gonna leave hydrogens and oxygens until the end. Let's see about the nitrogen here. So I have two nitrogens here and only one over here. So I'm gonna put a two in front of the nitrogen and then looks like I have one potassium, one potassium, that's good. And sulfur, I have one times two. So I have two sulfurs here and just one here. Let's put a two here. Now we have two nitrogens times two, four. So we need to change this. But now everything except the hydrogens and the oxygens they're balanced and often they'll just work out at that point. So what we need to do is figure out how many hydrogens and how many oxygens we have on each side. And if they work out, we're done. If not, we have more work to do. Let's do it. Four times four is 16 plus four times the one that's four plus nothing here. Two times 12, that's 24. And if you add that all up, you get 44 hydrogen atoms here in the reactants. Oxygen, four times one, that's four, plus the four here times two, so that's eight, plus 12 times the one, that's 12, and this equals 24. Let's look at the products. One times three, so three hydrogens there, plus two times four, that's eight, times the two, so there's 16. Be careful with that there. So we have four hydrogens times two, that's eight times two, that's where the 16 came from, plus the one hydrogen here, and then two times 12, that's 24. And if you add all that up, it equals 44. So kind of nice. Let's see if the oxygen adds up to 24, then we're done. Three oxygens, three times one, plus four oxygens times two. So the two goes to everything. So four times two, that's eight plus the one here, plus the one times 12. So 12 there, and that adds up to 24 as well. And we're done. So really what makes this so challenging, and I'd made mistakes before, and I just went back and corrected those and deleted that out of the video. What makes it challenging is you need to really add these up carefully to see if it works, especially right here where you've got two times four is eight, then times two, that's the 16. That's where I made a mistake I had to go back and fix. Either way, that's how you balance this equation, Na4OH plus KAlSO42 with 12 water molecules around it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.